Go ahead. Yeah. The big thing is that um, uh, you definitely don't have like a flinch, like you don't you tend not to flinch away like a lot of new people do. So because of that, yeah, like. No, this would be back up and just watch that distance. I could tell that you. Uh, you were kind of uh, going a bit wide, but yeah. like you weren't, you were doing follow-up attacks afterwards, which made it a lot more dangerous. Because while uh, you weren't necessarily like stopping my cut, it just meant that your sword was completely free to attack me from anywhere afterwards. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, the afterblow was always coming, and that's actually quite difficult to deal with. Uh, yeah, messer. longest messer. Yeah. This is my. I feel a lot more comfortable with that than with the long sword, to be honest. Just because it was more what I'm used to. Yeah, that makes what sense. What I was used to. Yeah. Although I, I really like. Probably my favorite weapon, but long sword is the one that I have the most experience with. Like it's it's a very good all round weapon. You can kind of learn a lot about every other weapon that we use from the long sword. Okay. Where. A lot of like uh, messer isn't as translatable to things like uh, pole like pole arms or like spear. Yeah. Whereas like a long sword is much more like a, sp a spear that yeah, also happens yeah. to be a sword. Yeah. So it's like halfway between. Yeah, that's what we were working on a little earlier. But I bet you saw me the whole time. Like I was holding this like a, a rapier. Yeah, it was a little. I mean, they would, with this weapon specifically, they'd have tournaments where they'd fence and, yeah, like, without shards. Without it. Like, all, all of the techniques that we're doing are straight out of the manuscript, so... Mm -hmm. uh, presumably, they'd look not too much different than what we're doing. I mean, the equipment would be a bit different, obviously, but aside from that... But, I mean, with an edge on it, it would be so much... More brutal. I don't uh, know if you're a fan of hardcore history, Dan Carlin, or no. What an ancient battlefield actually looked like. Like what I happens mean, when two armies of guys with swords and armor actually start hacking at each other? What I mean, actually happens, and what does that look like? The closest is probably something like a, a prison riot where people have oh. weapons. Yeah. But exactly. I mean, the other thing too is like on the battlefield, a lot of the guys who'd have like uh, long swords and stuff, it wouldn't, they'd mostly be on like horseback anyways and in full armor. So like you get into a lot more grappling techniques and yeah, that's, yeah, that's, it ends up being a lot more like, like what they're doing right now. 